Let, let's let's talk about your industry. Um, people who do the kind of things you do in the entertainment and creative uh, sector usually uh, have the good, the bad, and the ugly side of life. So how do you cope with all the negatives that come your way? Okay, before now, I used to quote and unquote overreact to the negativity but over time i have grown that i don't expect so much from people what i used to do was maybe because i used to give so much to people so i expected so much from people so but right now i have come to that uh, fact that you know once you expect so much from people you get disappointed and we are all human so i have reduced my expectations from people, I don't expect so much. And I now cope with the negativity. Yes, it comes. But in that negativity, now, I see more of positivity. I just don't want to, you know, meddle with negativity because so many people, the negativity actually limited me in the past. Trust me. Um, I know. I It's limited me because so many people, yeah, opinions. Mm -hmm. And people will be like, oh, no, no, she's like this, she's like that. But it's, yes, it limited me. But over time, I got to know that that's not it. Don't expect so much from people. Once you don't expect from people, you don't get disappointed. So for now, the negativity, I manage it well, trust me. <laughs> okay. Um, I manage I, it well. I also want to know how you and um, your friend, Shai, how you've managed your relationship. Uh, that you, you've become like um, sisters. How has it been? Mm. How have you nurtured your relationship here? Yeah. Yes, you know, she's a good sister, she's a good friend, and I've been true to her too, and she's been, you know, me, for example, I'm not that person in organizing, sometimes I organize corporate things, she organizes corporate things too, she can do the party thing, she can help you organize, what I like is, call me for party, let me go and go she may be able to organize but there are some other things that she might not be able to do that i do but they are not known to the media like okay. me there are some things i do that you know not known to the media that okay Wumi does this so we we've been able to come to equilibrium what she doesn't know how to do i do it what she, what she what i know how to do she does it and okay, we've you been do, trying to you do events you do you organize events we do events yes yeah. yes we do events so um she's more of a coordinated more coordinated than i am so i don't take that for granted but over the time uh uh, I know that I cannot be perfect in everything, and she can be perfect in everything too. So we just work with our imperfections and make it beautiful. Okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, what do we expect um, apart from the uh, movie school? Are there other things you are uh, trying to do for us to expect after the um, easing of the lockdown fully? Yes. Um, aside the movie school, I have the TV series. Yahweh Role, that's a big one that I have been looking forward to. And um, um, I want to work on the Yoruba movie, but um, I'm still limited by font. I, I wish I get sponsors because um, we are looking at the Netflix by the grace of God. The market is big and um, we are looking forward to entering the market with our good stories. When I see indigenous movies, in Netflix, it it tears, uh, it tears more my appetite. I see people do great things, and I'm like, okay, I can do this. Yes, even though we are limited with sponsors and funds and all that, that is just uh, the limitation. But aside that, I am open to explore. I want to do more. I want to I want to explore more. I want to go beyond the normal Yoruba movie. I want to do stories that are that are much more challenging i've not done any stories that are that i think is very challenging because okay. um i'm limited by stories so i want to i want to think beyond the this uh pandemic has made me you know sit down i have time write some stories i just want to do extra i want to do more i want to I, i've i've not done one percent of what i can offer so i still feel full i feel loaded in i just need more time to do that and um you know, so we expect more of material line movies, movies that are much that would go global, just not the um, normal Yoruba movie thing. We want to, you know, take it a step further, go to cinemas, you know, Netflix, and other 
ways we can actually stream the movies. Actually, it's not that Yoruba movies are not nice. We have good stories, but we are limited in funds. For example, I was having a meeting and we talked about the sound of, you know, producing a cinema movie standard. Okay. And, you know, when I heard about the sound bill only, and the sound is not during the production, the sound bill for the post-production, I'm like, wow. But really, it is really worth it at the end. So when we can, if we can get sponsors, it's not that we don't want to do it. We hope that uh, corporate bodies start believing in Yoruba movies and start believing in some of us that, you know, um, we can actually do more. Some of us, we just hope that we get that uh, um, support. So that's about it. Okay. Uh, as we round up, what's your message to your fans and viewers? Um... To so my fans, I love you. You guys are the best. Um, thank you for the support. And I want you to say, I want to say something to you all. Please uh, keep um, loving with me, Toriola. Yes, I know you guys are my. You are the reason I'm still with me, Toriola. Yes, you guys are the best. I love you so so much. I and look out for more of my movies. Look out for more of me, Toriola. Then please, any brand I am representing, you guys are the reason they call us for the brand. Please promote the brand by you patronizing them. Trust me, I would not represent a fake brand. I would not represent a brand that would uh, that would not give you what you want. There will be always quality for whatever you you want. So please support, keep supporting with Toriola. And some people have been asking, I'm going to answer that myself and Shai are not as close as we used to be. Okay, let me tell you something. You know, I am married. Shai is married. There is COVID, you know. And this time is the time. Some people, it has helped marriages. Some husbands and wives are now more bonded that they see that there is no reason for a friend. You understand what I mean? This COVID yeah. has brought families together. It has brought mother and child together. It has made them closer. That they may now say, okay, now that we are close, there is no need for friendship. So at that way, you know, you just have to excuse. But trust me, there is nothing alarming. It's just um, more of husband and wife thing. Maybe a friend is no longer needed. I, I don't want to go too deep. But trust me, we are all fine. We are all together. Mm -hmm. thank, you. thank you very much, my sister. Thanks for uh, being... They have so many questions. I'm not in a hurry. I'm oh, not in a hurry. Okay. I'm not in a hurry. Okay. I'm not in a hurry. Yeah. You have been a lot of questions on some of your... I your see. Other... Yes. So, what, what do you think? Some of them want to talk about um, um, uh, seeing maybe you and... Uh, um, sorry? Maybe you and uh, some of the actresses act together and all of that. And I'm wondering what your uh, reaction is, it, um, is to that. Um, like me, I can act with any actress and actor. I am a lover of talent. I am a lover of art. And when I see talent, irrespective of our relationship aside work, I am open to work with them. I am open to work with them. I, irrespective of maybe we talk, it is only in our Yoruba movie industry that you would expect to be friends with someone before you call them on set. So I sometimes I give kudos to some of the producers that we don't have relationships, we don't talk on phone, we are not friends, but they deem us fit to say, okay, Mumitoriola would play this role well. Those are the real MVP in Yoruba movie industry because majorly roles are now being cast on how close we are, but it is changing. It is not the way it used to be again. So I am open to any fantastic actor. I'm open to grabbing a script and delivering it well with a very good actor, no matter our relationship. You know, let's just work. Let's work. <laughs> so. Some people are saying, some people are saying, can you work with Tony Abraham again? Who wouldn't want to work with Tony Abraham? She's a fantastic actress. And sometimes, you know, I just watch her sometimes and I'll be like, I see it in my mind. I'm just thinking aloud that because when I see her, I'm just like, she's crazy. You understand? Like, she's a fantastic actress. So, who wouldn't want to work with her? She's a fantastic actress. And if you work with um, an actress that makes your job easier, 
boom, it works. You know, it makes the the it, it makes the job lesser for you. It just you are just like doing it and with no with no stress. You're doing it easy. So I, I can work with anyone. Hey, but is that a possibility of uh, reconciliation between you and Tony? <sighs> we have reconciled. Trust me. We don't just want to bring it online. We have reconciled and, you know, everybody is at peace now. I tell people that, yes, our fans love us. They don't want to see us fight. But our industry, we are like family. Okay. I, I've said it before that some people that I would have issues with and the issue is elongated is because we've not seen ourselves. Trust me, when we see ourselves, when we see ourselves, especially when we meet at an event, okay. we will just say, oh, share me go. I don't know if I can speak Yoruba. Yeah, you can speak Yoruba. You will just be like, oh, share me go. What's in your But what's in that That is how, you know, united we are. It's only some of our fans that now make it out of proportion because some people would fight for a fan and at the end of the day, when the whole thing is now settled, you keep yeah. remembering, ah, a fan said this, that hurts. So I am begging our fans, see, we are one family. You won't know when we will settle. At the end of the day, you will keep guessing. So That's please, true. easy on us, okay? When we have issues, be like, uh, I'm on really want to party. When you have it, <laughs> At the back of your mind like that you will not be fighting and fighting and fighting you will not be fighting you will not be wishing you know like the only thing that um still bothers me is while i was going to have my baby and someone wished that he or she she died in labor when i remember that it, it really you know it really hurts me more it really hurts me that wow how can you because you're fighting for someone now go to that extent of wishing yourself evil you know, so there is no issue. Our fans, take it easy on us. You will know when we will settle and you guys will be left on, on you know, you will know, you will know. So just take it easy. When we are having issues, just be like, oh, they will soon settle. So that's just it. Just um, take it easy on us.